Hey guys, and welcome back to another tutorial video. Today, I'm gonna be showing you how to get your Vbraid model into VR chat. This is gonna be a fairly simple tutorial. I'm not gonna go into things like avatar optimization and uh, changing bones and stuff like that, mostly because I don't even know how to do that. I'm a bit of a beginner myself, and that's why I wanted to make this tutorial because I know a lot of people are just getting into making avatars with Vroid and have no idea how to get it um, <laughs> how to get it into VR chat and being a noob fairly recently myself, um, I figured if I could do it, then you guys can do it too. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Before we get started on this video, I did want to give a special thank you to Fruit Pecs because Fruit Pecs' videos have been the ones that have helped me learn basically everything I need to know. Um, I do think Fruit Pecs' videos are aimed at people who are already interested in v like Vroid and VR models and stuff like that. So I'd like to do something that's aimed like for complete beginners um, since I know a lot of my clients and a lot of my viewers are just getting into VR dev or avatar creation or whatever for the very first time. So the first thing that I did want to point out about making an avatar for VR chat is that you do have to have a VR chat account, not just your Steam VR chat account. Those are two different things. So you're going to have to go to the VR chat website, create an account, and then you can link it to your Steam account. And the synchronization process should take up the 24 hours or so, and then your accounts will be linked. Um, before you are allowed to upload any content like avatars to VR chat too, you have to be um, what they would call a trusted user. And to become a trusted user, you do have to have a certain amount of time in the game, have a certain number of friends, um, and stuff like that. For pretty much anybody who is interested already in VR chat, I would assume you guys probably have a decent, decent amount of time in the game um, already. But I know for me, the reason that I started playing VR chat was because I wanted an excuse to use my FIA model. And so I didn't necessarily have enough time in the game first, so do be aware of that. So assuming that you have your account linked already and you're good to go there, the first thing you're going to want to have to download is Unity. Woohoo! Yes, Unity uh, for game development. So we do need a very specific version of Unity. So we're going to go ahead and go here to Unity 2018 and scroll down to 2018.4.20. Okay, so I'm getting the specific version. I had it downloaded, so make sure you have that. Um, Unity updates all the freaking time, so a lot of the version differences do make a big difference. So once you have the correct version of Unity downloaded, the second thing you're going to do is download the VRChat SDK, which is the software development kit. So what this is going to allow you to do is you're going to import this as a package into Unity and it will directly connect your VRChat account to Unity so that you can upload content. So the SDK 3 is going to be mainly for world creation. However, we are doing avatar creation, so we're going to go ahead and do the SDK 2. So go ahead and download that. So the next thing you're going to want to download is going to be this VRM converter for VR chat because VRM files are the format that VRAID models are exported in. So you're going to want to go ahead and sign into your Pixiv account to make one if you don't have one already. And then you're going to go to this website called Booth where you can download it. Please keep in mind that this converter gets updated pretty often, so if you have a more recent version than the 21.00 version that I have as of today, May 10th, 2020, go ahead and check that you have VRChat SDK 2 here and that you have the correct version of Unity. The one that I had you guys download before is the correct version that matches up here, but always do a double check because version differences do make a big deal when it comes to avatars. All right, so now assuming that you have Unity downloaded, your SDK downloaded, and your converter downloaded, we're gonna go ahead and minimize that, and I'm gonna go ahead and open up Unity. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and create a new project. I'm titling it Fia Bodysuit because I'm using a new version of Fia that I want to upload to VR chat. So create project. All right, so now that Unity has loaded up, I do not want the new version. I want this very specific version. And I'm gonna go down here to the assets section where I can go ahead and do right click, import package, custom package. From there, I'm gonna go ahead and go into my file where I downloaded um, all my stuff from earlier. And I'm gonna put in my VRChat SDK2 and dump that file out first because the converter does depend on this file. So yes, order is important. All right, so now we have this cute little pop-up window that says VR Chat Unity SDK with a whole bunch of FAQs, stuff like that. We're gonna go ahead and just 
exit out of that very quickly. Please take note that now on this top option bar, you do have VRChat SDK up here, which was not there before. Now I'm gonna right click in here, import package, custom package. And this time we're gonna dump in this VRM converter for VRChat. Uh, you wanna make sure that you have the uni VRM one. You see there's two here? Yeah, we want the uni VRM. So I'll open that. Import. And beautiful. So now we have four different files down here. So take a look and make sure yours looks pretty similar to mine. And up here you'll see we have another option added, which is VRM. So that is a VRM converter. So if I go ahead and click on this, you need VRM.55.0 and then import. And I can go ahead and find my file where I keep all my VRM files. And here is the FIA bodysuit model that I would like to put in your chat. Alrighty, now we have this cute little looker over here and I'm going to click on it and you can see all the information on the sides showing that this is in fact the model that I wanted. So I'm going to click VRM again while I have this selected and I can click duplicate and convert for VR chat. On this menu, make sure you click fix prone avatar position to off and then you should be good to hit duplicate and convert. Looks like everything was converted, so I'm gonna hit OK. And would you look at that? You got the beautiful lady herself right here in Unity. So perfect, now that I have my model already, the last thing I'm gonna wanna do to get things set up is get the eye placement fixed. So if I come over here, I'm actually going to just click on Fia um, by using the hierarchy or clicking on her. And you're gonna see VRC avatar descriptor. Directly under that, you'll have view position. So I'm gonna go ahead and set X to zero. Uh, y, I'm gonna guess maybe at about 1.5 to start. And then Z, let's do 0 0.2. And then, yes, you should see this little gray ball pop up. So you're gonna have to play around with the numbers, but the goal is to get this little gray ball right in between Fia's eyeballs. So I'm just gonna play around with these numbers until I get something that seems about right. All right, so I think that looks pretty good as far as position goes. Take a look at the numbers I have in here and you could possibly use those for reference, but you'll have to adjust depending on the height of your model. So now that we have the view position set, we should be good to go. So I'm gonna hop on over to VR Chat SDK up here and show control panel. And then I'm gonna have this little prompt that has me sign into my VR chat account. So sign in. Looks like I am allowed to publish worlds and allowed to publish avatars because I've spent a crud ton of time in VR chat. So if I click over here on builder, you're gonna see I have a whole bunch of little errors. Yes, this is perfectly normal. <laughs> So you can see I have all of these uh, notifications saying that I have some problems with the avatar. Uh, it tells me that my overall performance is medium, high number of polygons, high number of bones. Yes, none of this is ideal, but guess what? It still works regardless. So don't worry too much about all of these issues. Um, learning how to optimize avatars is something you can do later on. And if this is your first time, then this should work perfectly fine getting your avatar into VR chat. So now that everything looks good to go, I'm going to press build and publish. All right, looks like everything has finally finished loading in after spending 1 million years on it. So now I can go ahead and name my avatar. I'm going to do Fia bodysuit. You can give a description. Um, this is my unzipped version because I do have two variants. Um, you can check all your content warnings uh, and then sharing private or public. I personally keep all of my FIA models to myself, so I have those marked as private, but some of my other models like my Hatsune Miku, um, Lane, and Porter Robinson models I do have marked to public so that other people can use them. Uh, I agree to all the information, yes this is my model, blah blah blah. Uh, you can also upload an image here with the camera, uh, I don't think you need to worry too much about that as a beginner though, um, and hit upload! 
All right, and looks like update is complete. So all I have to do now is launch VR chat to see my avatar inside of VR chat. There's gonna be a menu underneath where all of the typical uh, favorite avatars are, where you can see all the ones that you have uploaded. So we should be good to go. Um, before I sign off this video, I do wanna give a few notes about about uh, this method that I have just used. This avatar is not optimized. While it's not a bad model, it's not necessarily a good one either. So if you do care about having um, a really, really good avatar, then you're gonna wanna go uh, figure out the different ways that you can optimize your avatar later on. Uh, there are some issues as far as clipping goes, especially with Vroid models, the um, legendary farm pit as you might have seen in some of my other videos, uh, have been an issue for me that I plan on getting um, sorted out as soon as possible. There's also other things you can do in Unity, just the fix up your avatar, such as weight painting on the hair and the clothes and all that fun stuff. But as far as just getting your avatar from Vroid into VRChat, this should be the simplest, easiest, and quickest way to do it. Another thing to be mindful of is how many bones you're using. So I don't have too many bones in Fia's hair because it's really short, but if you have really long hair on your avatar, uh, if you have too many bones, it could be an issue. So be mindful of that as well. Um, <laughs> if you do have any more questions about avatar creation or getting your model uploaded, then don't be afraid to hop into my Discord, which I have linked in the description. And we talk about VR-related stuff all the time, including VTubing. So, uh, if you want to ask any questions, we have an entire channel dedicated to VTubing questions, which definitely covers, uh, VR chat avatars as well. So, make sure you hop in, say hi, have some fun, and we'd love to have you there as well. So if you like this video, make sure you give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to the Virtual Reality Show channel. I've been your host, Fia, and I'll see you on next week's episode. Bye!